1998, the First Basis Curriculum School was founded by Olga and Michael Block, world-renowned economists in Arizona. Since its inception, Basis defines opportunity and success for our students in global terms, enabling them to excel on the global stage. In 2015, BASIS partnered with Ascend International Education Group to establish BASIS International School Shenzhen in Shirko, Shenzhen. This marked the first overseas school in the BASIS network, serving as the birthplace and foundation of BASIS schools in China. I was first hired by Michael and Olga Block in 2013 to open up the first independent schools in America, in Brooklyn and Silicon Valley. After opening the first independent schools, I then focused on growing the schools internationally, and so was involved in developing the partnership with Ascend for the first school opening here in Sheko in 2015. I feel very strongly that the opening of the Basis China Shenzhen campus was one of the most important developments in the basis curriculum school. I distinctly remember we were in 2015, on May 26th, opened the school. At that time, the time was very tense, and the pressure was very high. In the president's leadership, in the support of the students, we used three months of time to complete the 12,500 square feet of building. The quality was high, but we didn't lose the quality of the building. On the day of the opening, we saw 400 children walking down the street. The feeling was hard to describe. We felt that no matter how hard it was, it was worth it. 深圳贝塞斯开学典礼的那一天，到现在想起来都还非常的激动，每一个细节都还记忆犹新。印象最深的是我们的剪彩仪式，我们请嘉宾为贝塞斯的 logo 注入了彩沙，寓意是汇聚来自全球的知识与力量，聚沙成塔，让孩子们站在巨人的肩膀上，迈入世界的舞台。开学时候的情景有很多都已经记不得了，但有几个画面还是在我的脑海里。当时我们从美国总部来的。这个一些高管，包括创始人，呃，他们也参与到我们当天开学的活动中去，啊，甚至包括 Peter， 当时美国总部的总裁，陪着学生们在一起上篮球课，这是我们我印象比较深刻的一个画面。The first day of school, that was that's quite a long time ago now. That was maybe maybe seven years ago, but I do remember it quite fondly. I really enjoyed my first day of school, meeting all my new students for the first time.、Um, and actually, on my way up here just now, I walked past grade five. They were taking some graduation photos, and they, they were my first children in pre-K two. Um, so it, it's wonderful to, of just this moment, seeing those same children I saw on the first day of school, seven years later, are graduating primary school. Um, so it's been quite a wonderful morning today. I think one of the uh, things about uh, working in a building that has so many people in it, is that you only have to step outside the office door and you'll meet somebody who wants to have a conversation. So well, that might be a, a small child or it might be one of the seniors. Um, so there are many memories by just walking around the corridors. I think I would describe this community as one that is very tight-knit. And this tight-knit is seen not only in between like people, but also in terms of events. For example, at 8 a.m., you may have pre-conscious class with Mr. Bodhi. And then at that point, he's your teacher. But after lunch, you realize that he's also your competitor in like a ping pong tournament. And I think it's all these different sort of things that you know people participate in different activities, and you're able to bond with people from many different angles. That really draws the community together, and you get to form many, many different friends. Even with your teachers, teachers can become your friends. I think my favorite part of being in Basis is not about the academic life, but its social life. Um, because our grade only has 24 people um, and we've been together for the majority of the seven years. We know each other really well and we've got to develop really close relationships and really close friendships um, throughout our time here. And right now our grade really feels more like a family rather than a group of classmates. And I think that is true wherever you go in basis because it's just such a small community. I have witnessed all the graduating seniors in the last eight years. And they do visit campus almost every year to meet the teachers. Recently, few graduates from last year, they came to meet me, and then they started sharing about their stories, the, the, the stories of their first year of 
college life in US and they said Mr. Single you taught us physics so well that we feel so confident in our physics classes thank you these words from my graduating students really overwhelmed me and i think as an educator this is my actual earning that the student are excelling i'm creating some positive changes to the lives of the students well, i've been at basis shenzhen in 2015 when the school first opened so this is my eighth year at basis and to be honest in my first year at basis it was pretty hard for me to adapt to the rigorous academic curriculum in the long run this was a challenge that really helped to improve my abilities as an individual and as a student. We call him as a Qijian school, not only because it is the first time we have the first time we have the first time, but also because of his all the teachers and teachers, and his love for his work, and his love for his work, and his love for his children, and his love for his children, and his love for his children, and his love for his children. So the equipment is still maintaining its first place. In the past nine years of growth, the most interesting thing is that the teachers of the first and 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 first. They think that their children are not in the traditional way of the traditional school, but by the basis of the human education and the education of the school, 多年后展现出的是非常自信、自律、自主，且乐于帮助他人的优秀品质，因此也被全球顶尖大学慧眼识珠，纷纷进入他们心仪的学校和专业。So I've got two comments from parents. Uh, the, these are, we've received them recently. Uh, so here's the first one. Um, thank you again for having teachers who are passionate about education and are full of love for children. And the second one, which we received a couple of days ago, over seven years. Basis has provided us with such a good schooling experience, and my son is learning with so many amazing teachers. I would recommend the school to basically any parent who is making school selection. Now, we have already in China ten schools. In every one of them, you can see the image of Shenzhen Basis. The high-level schooling and education time is consistent, making the basis as a school selection center is very apparent. Each school's excellent schooling experience and test results. 一次又一次地证明了贝塞斯体系的成熟与卓越。I think all basis campuses have their own texture. We all have the same program, but we all have a different feel to our campuses. And in Shenzhen, I think I think the biggest thing that stood out was just the quirkiness, the new ideas people had, the risks students and faculty were willing to take. Um, there's a sense of innovation and risk taking. And really thoughtful creativity um, that I think is. We're not alone, as promised by Dr. Guan. A small and more basic China school blossomed across the country. Enjoying the applause to success and cheer to Trump, my heart is filled with excitement and pride for the path I've traveled with my team and colleagues as we explore. And for our exporting out to our sister campuses, those elite techlets, our tested operation processes and experience, and as well as our excellent work culture. Eight years is a long time and it's a short time in our life and career. I'm very thankful to our wonderful team. We share our joy and sorrow. We have laughter, we have tears together. These are the perfect elements in our path of growth and towards success. I think we've done really well in this building to construct a wonderful place where children can learn and grow. But of course, I'm looking forward to leaving this building and having even more space. I think if you work in education, you always want more. You always want the next, next best thing for your students, for the teachers, for the community. Um, so I look forward to this next step in the journey. We hope to give the students a more diverse environment. Because the old school has been limited by the land. It is no longer able to satisfy the needs of the school. And the event space is always a short part of the school school. 所以我们一直想致力于解决这个问题。其实新校区的筹备工作是从很早就开始的，应该是说我们学校开学两年不到的时间，我们就一直在致力于能够寻找一个更适合办学的场地，能够更加满足我们学生多元化发展需求的这么一个场地。那么这块新的场地呢，是深圳市政府第一块，也是目前为止唯一的一块。啊，通过遴选方式确定了一个国际教育用地，从最初的申请
拿地，然后种标的整个一个过程，应该说是充满了各种挑战。然后，当然呢，我们也是非常幸运，我们整个团队也得到了政府各个部门的支持，所以呢，我们能够拿到这块地，为我们的学生建一个更好的校园。在学校各个功能区域的设计和设置上，学校的运营团队和设计工程团队一直都保持着紧密的沟通。为了能让新校区的各种功能设计都更加符合老师们上课的实际需求。我们和几乎所有科目的老师代表们都深入地探讨新校区各种功能教室的设计。我记得两年前我们就开始了相关的讨论，从游泳池的比赛标准的要求，到实验室做实验的使用场景、学生分组的方式、需要安装的安全设置，从餐厅的就餐人数和习惯，到体育场未来比赛场次的需求、联赛对主办方比赛场地大小的要求，以及各项安全措施的设备。可以说，蛇口新校区是设计工程团队、教学团队和运营团队通力合作的结晶。建设过程中，建设周期很短，地块又受到很大的限制。蛇口新校区的地块原本是一个八十年代的一个老水厂，虽然已经荒废了多年，但周边的居民对它还是感情很深，所以在项目的初期拆除就受到很大的阻力。由于蛇口新校区位于南山的黄金地段，是所有新校区里面占地面积最小、容积率最大的。在如此紧张的工期下，我们面临的困难也是前所未有的。我们经常要制定策略，调整思路，优化工序，实行两班倒的形式去不断开拓思路，想尽一切办法保证按时完工交付。我们从二零二二年的六月二十号拿到主体施工许可证，到二零二三年的三月主体封顶，主体施工仅用了九个月的时间。作为备赛时的旗舰校区，我们从最初的设计、选材、施工等环节都做到严格的把关。我们非常用心地把每个空间做出独有的特色，一步一景，希望在新学期来临之际，大家走进校园都会有耳目一新的感觉。Today, the new Sherco campus is inaugurated, showcasing a fresh and remarkable outlook. With a total investment of 1.2 billion RMB, the new campus covers a land area of approximately 17,000 square meters. Including a total gross floor area of 88,000 square meters, the campus, built to the highest standards and equipped with exceptional teaching facilities, will set a new benchmark for international schools in Shenzhen. The school boasts state-of-the-art facilities, such as a 1,000 square meter auditorium, a 440 square meter black box theater, a 2,000 square meter double-decker gym. A 1,400 square meter six-lane natatorium, 1,500 square meter cafeteria, and a 750 square meter library. The new campus has 68 standard classrooms, including 12 kindergarten classrooms, and is equipped with functional classrooms such as chemistry labs, physical labs, music rooms, drama rooms. In addition. The international top-notch professional observatory is built to inspire students to be curious, be willing to explore and have their feet on the ground while keeping their eyes on the stars. 就非专业的来讲，其实我们你看我们的那个总平面，有点像三叶草的形态。其中一片代表主要是教学区，另外一片代表着文化娱乐片区，然后另外一个主要是以办公为主的。每片叶子里面都有一个内聚型的空间。从我们专业角度，然后是在一个简单的结构逻辑下面的多尺度的立体复合型的一个空间。表皮是用红砖来做的，这种做法其实是有德式建筑的序列感，在非常庄重、非常严肃的。表皮逻辑下，我们另外加入了计算机的参数化设计，融入了水波纹的微变化，你能体会到庄严下面灵动或者叫严谨里面的一种活泼。反而我们在室内用的一种更加开放、更加互动、更加明亮的一些手法。室内是配合了这些阳光的感觉、呃自然的感觉、呃生态的感觉去做，所以你在室内。感受不会跟室外的感受是一样的，包括像中国的山水园林啊这一套的手法，这种起承转合啊，你在里面不遗景意啊，都会有这样的感受在里面。It's a new adventure. It's just a new step. 
and I'm really looking forward to seeing how I can change it and how I can beautify it with more art from the students. Um, this is a blank canvas and now it's time to paint it with all of the students' talent. I have been waiting for this moment for the last four or five years and finally the day has come. We look forward to starting a new journey in our spacious and modern facilities where we can continue to grow and uh, innovate. I would like to pay my sincere gratitude to the operation team in supporting us and making sure that there will be a smooth transition to the new campus. I wish everybody all the best for this new chapter of our BIS community. Yeah,很有意義。那麼想到當年的八月,在那麼小小的空間,我們會在思就做到了那種有聲有色發展,那麼現在的八月,我們在印件、轉件都更新換代,更加高大上了。那麼在這樣的校園裡,那你儘管可